Now you've seen most of the way through here how this serves as a very powerful tool for an individual to work when he's studying, doing his planning, designing, debugging, documenting. But we also saw through the medium of leaving messages for each other and filtering them that people can collaborate quite well over a period of time by working on joint files. In fact, you can have a joint file and go leave a message and get a response in a matter of minutes because they're all available instantly by anybody from one of these terminals. But there's another degree of collaboration which is very important and which we're just going to be setting up in the next few months the hardware to do computer aid. But here we're going to set it up with a little bit of people aid too. So I'm going to establish a collaborative mode between me and another terminal. Bill Paxton's at a terminal back at SRI and the first thing I do to do that of course would be say hey I'm going to, uh, oops, to call this command, we have to go into the executive mode and set executivity to a special level. Oops. And then continue with NLS. <laughs> so that free demonstration of some of the versatility. All right, special command. I'd like to link to Bill, and uh, I don't know what his terminal is right now, so I have to ask for somebody to connect me to him audibly, audibly. So Bill, will you come in through this intercom? Hello, Doug. Hi. I, I need to know what terminal you're on, Bill. 13. Okay. I'd like to have him see my text. And so this special thing, if I label 13, will switch, switch over, so on his display he sees my text, so I'll execute it, and sure enough it does. But what's that, running around? Well, if he's looking at my text, he'd like to have something to say about it. So we put on a marker, a tracking spot that he controls. So he's sitting in Menlo Park looking at this text, and he can point to it. But we've carefully reserved for me the right to control and operate on this, so my bug is more powerful than yours. <laughs> but we can have an argument. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they call a bug fight. <laughs> so, all right. So, uh, in case you haven't been listening, Bill, <laughs> we've been going through lots of examples and setting up in collaboration here so that we can go on into information retrieval. And we've set up now audio coupling and we're both looking at the same display and that'd be very handy to work. We can talk to each other and point and maybe later I can hand you the chalk on this blackboard like saying, here, you control it. But let's stay this mode now and add another feature that hardware-wise is available to the kind of display we have. I'd like to see you while I'm working on it. So before I can do that, I have to set up my display in a certain way. Set it up so it, I see it over like that, that leaves a corner up there, and I say, now computer, do the automatic switching that'll bring in a camera picture from the camera mounted on his console, such as the camera mounted on mine is. Hi, Bill. That's great. Now we're connected audio. You can see my work. You can point at it, and I can see your face, and we can talk. So let's do some collaborating. You're silent. <laughs> oh. What do you want me to say? Yeah. <laughs> There's nobody here but a large audience, Bill. All right. All right. So let's, uh, let's go talk about information retrieval. And there are a lot of things I've been showing them and jumping around and finding your way, relating back to the portrayal I gave about NLS as an instrument on complex data structures. It shows them how we can get around and find things. I showed them the content analyzers to help locate things locally. Let's, you had a file kind of classifying retrieval stuff. Why don't we switch to it? Uh, yeah, good. Hey, I can't point. Oh, okay. You're on 13 or 12? 12. You're on 12, okay. You had executive use. There you go. Where am I? There. There you are. Great. 